Stuart, let's do this. I'm just going to see whether I've got the right pen. Yeah. You travel by Delhi Metro every day from um, Botanical Garden Noida to House Cast Delhi. At House Cast Metro Station, you use an escalator to get out of the station. The escalator takes 80 seconds. One day, the escalator was not working and you walk up the escalator in 50 seconds. How many minutes does it approximately take you to walk down the working escalator? Nice, nice. Escalator takes 80 seconds. One day the escalator was not working and you walk up. One thing I like about this question is the two times. First time only escalator is working. Second time only you're working. So life is simple. Sometimes it comes that the escalator is going down and you're walking along with it. Then the speeds get uh, combined and then the time shrinks and becomes complicated. This is very simple. For the 80 second thing only escalator is working. For the 50 second thing only you're working. Very simple. Fine. So, so I can say time taken escalator only is 80 seconds. Time taken person only is 50 seconds. Quite simple. Done. Now what do we do? How many times does it approximately take you to walk down the working escalator? Walk down the working escalator. Now, I, I, for, for the first time when I saw this question, I didn't understand whether the escalator was going up or coming down. I don't know. Uh, you can use the escalator to get out of the station. So, you come from underground to out. They built that into the question. But I was like, I'm not sure. That's not being handed on a platter. The choices make that clear. Right? So, the ratio of time taken is 8 is to 5. So, speed of escalator to speed of person is 5 is to 8. Simple, quite simple. Now, you're going along with the escalator, right? That means you, the, 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 the person and the escalator both are moving, right? The choices are all more than 50 seconds. It means not that they're going in the same direction, they're going in the opposite direction. The person is quicker than the escalator, but notwithstanding the fact that you're going opposite to the escalator, you still go quicker. Still it. It's very simple. Speed of escalator is 5, speed of person is 8. Speed of person opposite escalator should be 3, 8 minus 5. Fine. So, this is 5x, this is 8x, this is 3x. 5 units, 8 units, 3 units. I'm just thinking in terms of ratios. I'm not saying it is 5. 5x, 8x, 3x. Now, we are done. What, what, how are we done? If you're traveling at a speed of escalators thing, so if you're traveling at equivalent of 5x speed, you take 80 seconds. If you're traveling at 3x speed, how much will you take? The distance is same. 5x speed, you take 80 seconds. 3x speed, you're traveling slower. How much more time will you take? 5x into 80 by 3x. Remember, this is not direct proportion. If your speed reduces, time taken should increase. Speed into time is same. The 5x speed, it takes 80 seconds. For 3x, it will take more. Total distance is 5x into 80, 400. Speed is 3x, 400x by 3x or 400 by 3 seconds is what you'll take. Keep this in ratios. Don't put a notional number of steps, meters per second, steps per minute, none of that. Then ratio is good enough. So ratio is between escalator and person is 5 is to 8. Escalator person, person opposing escalator is 5 is to 8 is to 3. If 5 takes so much time, how much will 3 take? That's all we're doing. So 400 by 3 is 133.3. So more than 2 minutes for sure. 2.3. Two minutes. Yeah, 2.2 is one fifth of a minute. One fifth of a minute is 12 seconds. Yeah, close enough to that. 2.2 minutes. Keep it as a ratio of speeds. We're good to go.